These are the stories of the men and women of the United States Navy. Stories of the past, which are now part of our national heritage. Stories of the present, as they are being made of nuclear power, jets, and missiles. These stories are based on true incidents, recorded as required by Navy regulations and dramatized on Navy laws. August 1942. Place, approach to field, Naval Air Training Station, Corpus Christi, Texas. Duty, instructions to land. Come on to your hats, everybody. The buzz boy's back. Navy 486, Navy 486. Pilot report immediately to your squadron commander. Over. This is Navy 486. Ensign Lee, pilot, will go out. Did you have a nice trip to Pensacola, Newt? Well, yes, sir. Fine, sir. Did you see your old buddy from uh, Montana? Yes, sir. We. Well, how did you know, sir? He just happened to be over there. Your plane okay? Yes, sir. Sweet as silk. Well, as a matter of fact, I guess it could use a check. Uh, pretty thorough check, I guess, sir. All right, let's have it. What's the story? Story, sir? It was just a routine operational... Routine? I just got a blistering report on you from both the Navy and the Army. Come on, let's have the whole story. W what did they say I did? What's the matter? Don't you remember? Come on, Mr. Gibb. Your neck's in a jam, and if I'm going to pull you out of it, I've got to have the facts. Did you fly under those bridges? Did you buzz that tower? Come on, what's the story? Well, there's only two bridges, sir, and as for the tower... Well, you see, sir, it was this way. Uh, there were a hundred of them and only one of me. Uh, Army Air Corps, I mean, against Navy. Sweet Fanny Adams, did you take them on in combat or something? They left that out. No, sir, no, you don't understand. You see, my buddy and I, we, uh, well, he and I used to be school teachers together back in Montana. And <laughs> we got to arguing over our aircraft, you see. And I said... What are they flying? P-51s. And uh, what they did, they started calling my Hellcat names. Big, clumsy box of bolts, fat, creeping pickle pot, and various other earthy appellations. Well, go on, go on. Well, I took it as long as I could stand, and then <laughs> when it came time to take off for home, I, I gathered them all together and I gave them an education. See, what I did, I got lined up on the runway, and I kept pouring on the coal more and more, but I held my brakes until I got full power. Then I released my brakes and I went screaming down the runway. Yeah. I hoisted her practically straight up. I pointed her nose right up there, and I, I didn't level off until I got to 6,000. <laughs> Boss, I must have been climbing at 150, 200 knots. Boss, I showed them a plane. It's insane abuse of the engine. Well, sir, uh, no, sir, I guess I wasn't very kind to the front end. <laughs> Just grinding it down, I'd say, at the rate of about $100 a second. All right, go on. What did you do then? Well, uh, oh, I guess that's when I did a wing over. Oh, you turned over on your back. You looped. You buzzed the field. You mowed the grass right off the air strips. You shaved the control tower by a cat's whisker, screamed over the field again, did a wing over over the field, and then went under the bridges. Newt Lee, what in the name of thunder's the matter with you? Hmm? What gets into you when you get up there, boy? What gets into you? Well, I only... I... Uh, I don't know, sir. Well, I know one thing. I'm gonna have to bust my back to try to get this ticket fixed. And you, your own report. You're confined to quarters till further notice. You're grounded, you, you're out of uniform. Oh, get out of my sight. Yes, sir. Newt! I, uh, I guess the old, uh, pickle pot showed him, huh? Yes, sir, and when I... Yeah. <laughs> Shove off! Time, one week later. Place, DOQ. Duty, Sweat it out.
See, we, uh, I was a high school bandmaster, and we had us a Scotch Kildee band. Well, bagpipes is all I need. Boy, I got you out of that mess. But I had to break a lifelong rule. It's the first time I had to go to my father for anything since I, since I got in the Navy. Gee, the Admiral. Well, I'm awful sorry. Well, you're lucky. Happened he'd gone through the trade school with the same Admiral who chewed you out. The trade school? Annapolis. Oh? Well, be that as it may, they're going to sit on those reports. You know, you don't know how close you came to being court-martialed, my boy. Wow. Well, the main thing is, do I fly again? Oh, sure. It's too much invested in your training to waste in a chair. But no more Hellcats and no more fighters. Oh, no. What, what do I draw? Well, you'll fly what they're flying where you're going. Because you're being transferred out of here. That's part of the deal. Well, where? Where, sir? Active duty status. Oh, man. Headquarters, 13th Naval District, Seattle, Washington. Coastal Patrol. Oh, no. Those big, clumsy boxes of boats. That's right. Those big, fat, creeping pickle pots. Catalina PBY. And that's one ship you won't fly under any bridges. Oh. Now, listen, fella. Sir, I promise. Don't make me any promises. You're only responsible to yourself. It's your conscience. Now listen, get hold of yourself, boy. I'm gonna say something that's gonna make you mad enough to do something about it. Grow up! Stop playing kid games with these planes. You understand me? Yes, sure. All right. Well, you're... You're getting a fresh start with a new outfit, so... Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Those fat, creeping pickle pots. Time, 26 January, 1943. Place, New Duty Station, Scouting Squadron 3-D14. Later, BS-53. Duty, patrol the western sea frontier. He did a falling leaf with a widget. You got weeds in your roof garden, bud. You can't stall a J4F-1. Your center of gravity, those crazy wingtip poles. I'm telling you, I saw it. A perfect falling leaf. Whoever the pilot was, he threw her into a stall at about 4,000, caught her up quick, got his pendulum effect, and out of it as pretty as you please. OK. OK, I believe you. But whoever he is, two things. He's the first pilot in history to falling leaf a widget. What do you say, Newt? I know. And if you ask me, the boss finds out who he is, he's had it. Cup of Joe and you? No, oh, thanks. I, I never touch your stuff. You know that. Hey, you've been flying? I didn't see your name posted on the patrol schedule. Yeah, oh, I've been checking out on the wedge. All off-duty pilots, all off-duty pilots, report to ready room. Report to ready room and stand by for ASW mission. You know that Japanese? Submarine that tossed a few shells at that refinery in Elwood last February. And then he popped up off Estevan Point, up in Vancouver. Now, some of you were on that hunt and we missed him. But you've got another chance at him, or his partner. Yesterday, he shelled Fort Stevens in Oregon. This morning, a freighter took a fish about 25 miles south of the Columbia. Now, he's stooging around here. The fishing boat spotted him and got away. 
Somewhere in here. Now, regular search patterns, routine patrol frequencies. Don't bomb any whales. Go find them. Lee. Yes, sir. And you know funny stuff. Sir? You know what I mean. No falling leaves and no buzzing the sub, and except in the line of duty. No, sir. I'll watch myself, sir. This is serious business, son. One wrong move out of you, and I'll have you transferred to Siberia. Yes, sir. Is that all, sir? That's all. Shove off. And good luck. Time, fall, 1943. Place, off Oregon. Beauty, search, and sink. That's a whale. Hello, base. This is Tabby Thor. Have searched entire sector. I say again, have searched entire sector. No sign of mouths. Request instructions. Over. Tabby Four, this is base. Mouse reported Tabby Three sector, hidden for sea. Your instructions. Return to base. Over. We'll go out. Commandant just called. And the Ninkapoopoo would do such thing is no more than a juvenile delinquent. And as mayor of Coos Bay, That's I only demand the mayor of Coos Bay. You should have heard the Board of Education. I assure you, Mr. Calicut, the most severe measures possible will be taken. You have my word for it. Thank you for calling, sir. Buzz, boy. Skipper, I... Lee! What gets into you? What kind of immature behavior was that buzzing a stadium full of high school kids? What were you trying to prove? What were you trying to do, make a field goal the hard way? All you get for that is three points. Why didn't you try to run the cat under the crossbar? You'd score six points for that. No explanation, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. And then you, you had to fly under the bridge at Coos Bay. I suppose that was all just good, clean fun, too. That phone's been jumping ever since you pulled that crazy stunt. And the call just before you came in was the one that did it. My boy, you have had it. Grounded, sir? No. I quote. Com 13 on the horn. I want that man out of this district, fast, whoever he is. We're getting orders on him immediately. The roughest orders we can get, as far away from here as possible. Tell him to get his gear packed. He's practically on his way. What do you have to say about that, Lee? Golly, well, that, that could be the South Pacific. It could be Tasmania, too. Now, you get back to your quarters, and you stay there till those orders come through. From now on, you're practically the forgotten pilot of the United States Navy. Yes, sir. Boy. I have no idea how many times you've heard this before, but you'd better latch on to it now. Get hold of yourself. Straighten out and fly right before it's too late. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. 
Glad to have been on board, sir. Time, one month later. Place, VO, VCS Squadron 57. Woe, Heelnu, Numea, New Caledonia. Duty, scout and patrol. Hiya, boys. Oh, hi, Skipper. Who's the new pilot? Ensign Newt Lee, the K-N-U-T and an E. Hey. You know him? I fell in Corpus Christi once. Real hot shot. Is that so? Yep. Buzz the tail feathers off a set in hen. Of course, we were flying Hellcats. He better not drive with these boats. Oh, one of those, huh? Oh, great guy, though. Musician. Trumpet, trombone, French horn. Oh, we used to have a little combo. Jam around a little. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go, man. Let's go. Yeah, let's bring him in. ship all this stuff. Well, Skipper, nobody ever told me not to because I never asked. Where have I heard that before? Knut. Hey, boy, I wondered where you ended up. Welcome to Numea, the end of the world. Boy, when you travel, you travel. <laughs> Wait a minute. Weren't you with 53 up at Tongue uh, Point, Oregon? When yeah, they went yeah, south? yeah. Uh, any action around here, Skipper? No, just milk run stuff. We go out and come back. We go out and come back. Yeah. Every now and then, one of the New Zealand Corvettes, Holiday came up with a contact, but nothing. But about that sub that shelled the coast, you weren't by any chance the guy who... Well, look, I, I just realized now I'm pooped. Would you mind, sir, if I grabbed a little sack time? Oh, sure, fella. Sure. Well, if there isn't going to be any music, see you tomorrow in the shack, Lee. Glad to have you. Glad to be aboard. It was you. Me one. Zoosh! Uh, how did you hear? I just remembered. Your brother. Well, where did you see my kid brother? Oh, he's flying stuff up the line, some six, seven hundred miles. Yeah? Gee, I'd like to see him. I'll tell you what. You shape down here first, then brace the skipper. Lots of stuff going up that way. Hit yourself a ride. But you play it straight, Noos. No tricks. The skipper's okay all the way down the line. But you watch yourself. Okay? <laughs> see ya. Time, 19 August, 1943. Place, the end of the world. Duty, explain. But officers don't go AWOL, Lee. What got into you? Well, I've been trying to explain, sir. I wanted to see my brother. Sure, sure. But you put one over on me, and I don't go for that. You came in here. You said you wanted to see your brother. When I said, certainly, I automatically presumed he was on this island. Not a zillion miles away. Well, it was only 700, sir. You know what I ought to do to you? No, sir. I ought to ground you for permanent. I ought to anchor you to a desk, bury you beneath a pile of paperwork, chain you to a chair, keep you away from those planes till the shooting's over. I ought to... Ah. Oh, go slide your trombone. Yes, sir. Right. I'll have him in the air in five minutes. Newt? The New Zealanders have made a subcontact. Zone Baker, minus 11, bearing 150 degrees off coordinates easy four by Victor seven. Get everybody up. Everything that can fly. See, that'll be Johnson, Giddings, Sample, Wilson, Cook, Kennedy, Shoemaker, Davis, Tate, Black, Hanson, and Clinton's already in the air. That'll do, get him up. Yes, sir. Boy, I sure hope they get one. Newt. Get into your gear. Take number one and search Sector George. Yes, sir. But no tricks here. That sub's a big one. I-class, 2,100 tons. The Tui says she can throw Ack Ack from the deck and conning tower. So watch your altitude. And no tricks. 
All right, sir. Time, 0635 Zebra, 19 August, 1943. Duty, search, spot, sink. That's him. Arming switch on. Stand by for bombing run. Hideous, this is ugly one. Hideous, this is ugly one. We have sub in sight. I say again, we have sub in sight. He is about 35 feet below surface. Position is Sector George, coordinates Baker 3, item 7. We are attacking. Over. Those charges are preset for 50 feet, and he's at 35. It couldn't be better. Here we go. Let's get him. Place, the inner room. Duty, explain a decision. Mail call. And before you get lost in those, Newt, just got the report on that sub. You were right. There were survivors. One of the survivors was an officer. The sub was the I-17. He claims they shot up the Oregon coast back in 42. No. It's all right here. You know, I heard about that stadium business, Newt. Funny. If it wasn't for the I-17, you wouldn't have been sent here. If it wasn't for you, they wouldn't be down there. Now read this. Yes, sir. Sure. It's a citation from SYNCPAC. You got the DFC. What's the matter, Newt? You still trying to figure yourself out? No, sir, I... I think I have found myself. I... And I know where I'm going when all of this mess is over. I've been thinking about those Japs, the ones that didn't get out of the sub. It's funny that, that I was chosen. I was sent halfway around the world like a... Well, like a nemesis, like an avenger. Me. Me and the sub, and then again. There's a purpose, Skipper. There's, there's more than just a crazy chance running things. I know that now. Uh, by the way, uh, I think you'll find most of those are duplicates of what was sent on to me as your Skipper. Reports and reprimands that have just caught up with you. File and forget. Yes. Time, every Sabbath day. Place, Decorah, Iowa. Person, Reverend Newt W. D. Lee. Duty, seek, find, preach, teach under the highest orders of all. <laughs> 